Hello Capricorns, happy New Year's and happy birthday since this is your birthday season. So this spread is going to talk about what you left in the past, what you don't know about your love life, what's in your future for you guys, what's in the future, what's really going to go on in the month of January, um, what's going to be the love outcome for you, and the gen energy, okay? So let's start of what you left in the past pertaining to your love life. So I got the justice card. So I feel like a lot of you guys are done being nice to somebody. <laughs> like you're done being nice to someone. Uh, most likely probably your partner or your ex. You're done being nice to somebody. Um, this person could be a Libra. Okay, this is someone who kind of all the time receive, but they never they never give to the situation. Okay, that's what I'm pretty much getting. Um, now, when I clarify the Justice card, I got the Hierophant, and I also got the Knight of Pentacles, the Temperance, and the Four of Wands. Okay, so with these four cards being here, um, yeah, I feel like this is someone that you was probably married to or in a strong commitment. And I feel like a lot of you guys are going to become single from them. Okay, like you either are going to start the process or the process is going to be already done in January. Um, however, I feel like this person probably still want to salvage the relationship, salvage the connection with you. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Um, so the person could have been a Libra, a Taurus, a Sagittarius. Okay. Um, could be another Capricorn or Virgo as well. Now, what you don't know about your love life, I got the Five of Swords. Okay, so I feel like this person, um, I feel like they are going to be manipulative. Um, they are going to try to manipulate you, probably to stay. And when I clarify that, I got the Page of Cups, I got the Three of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. Okay, so what I'm pretty much getting from this is, yeah, I feel like this person is still waiting for you to accept them back. Okay, they're waiting for you to, yeah, it's like they're waiting for you to accept them back. That's what I'm getting. Um, however, I don't feel like they really know the extent that you're in right now. I feel like right now you are really trying to break free from this connection. Okay, however, they have really positive, um, they have positive thoughts about this working out. Okay, they really are optimistic. Now, what's in the near future? I got the emperor. Okay, so I'm seeing you guys still taking control. You're not budging. You're not folding. And when I clarify that, I got the two of cups, the page of wands, and the four of pentacles. Okay, this is what I'm getting. I'm getting two message. So probably you guys really are not playing nice no more with somebody. You found somebody else with the two of cups. You're more in love with them. However, I'm seeing that the person that you're leaving out or the person that you're not being nice to them anymore this person still wants to hold on to you and probably a lot of them don't know that you're dealing with someone else okay that's what i'm getting another message i'm getting is that even though with the person that you're not being nice to even though you may not entertain their shenanigans no more there's still some form of love or some form of respect um and i feel like this person is trying to trying to see if they can still hold on to you because they know how you feel about them okay now what's in the future for you guys i got the will fortune and the knight of wands both of these cards came out together so i feel like there's going to be a quick change that's going to happen very quickly um for some of you guys it'll be unexpected and when i clarify that i got the world and the king of wands so it could be them feeling like it's unexpected that you are closing this chapter of your life or not dealing with them anymore, okay? Um, it could be, because I got the king wants, like someone is confident that they are 100% certain that they want this to be over with. So something new can begin, okay? Now, what's really gonna go on in the month of January, I got the eight of cups. So I'm definitely seeing you walking away, emotionally checking out. Um, with the two of swords and the six of swords, I, yeah, I feel like this person don't see that. They don't see you gonna officially walk away, let this situation go. Um, they're gonna be blindsided. 
okay they really are they're gonna feel like you probably left randomly but you probably has been hinting at that or you've been communicating that to them they just really was optimistic that you will all the time stay and be down for them okay but i'm seeing that you guys are really walking away moving on from them now what's going to be the love outcome for you guys um, I got the tower, so I do see a breakup, and when I clarify that, I got two wands and eight swords, but I see a new beginning. So again, some of you guys have someone else. Um, with the eight of swords, I feel like this is going to be the person that you're done being nice to. This person is going to take this hard, and I feel like they're still going to have like cognitive dissonance. Like They're going to behave like they have cognitive dissonance, because it's like they can't believe <laughs> It was really certain that you will all the time be down for them, be loyal to them, okay? Now, for the general energy, I got the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So, I'm saying that you guys are going to be in your energy, in your element. Um, you're probably thinking, like, you're probably just trying to see which person is the best person for you, which is a good thing. Um, but I feel like you're not going to be bothered so much, okay? Now, for the angel answers, I got meditation, bring answers, let go, and within the next few months. So, yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys have been meditating. You guys have really been contemplating whether you should let this situation go. And you guys are certain that you should let this go. And within the next few months, um, this is interesting. So, I feel like with this, it can go two ways. Within the next few months... This person that you are letting go, this person going to come back. Or, within the next few months, you guys are really going to start com something completely different. Okay? That's what I'm pretty much getting. Now, um, for the romance angel, I got separation, love yourself first, and playfulness. So, with separation, I definitely see that I'm seeing you guys are breaking up with someone. And with love yourself first, because you're choosing yourself first. You're not trying to make this person... Um, feel comfortable anymore are you really doing things that's going to help you out um, with playfulness again some of you guys have found someone else that is um, that's giving you some sense of inspiration that's giving you some source of making you feel like a child again because how much you are in love okay now when it clarify separation I got the seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups so again, this is something that you've been weighing out. You've been thinking about it, and you're going to do it. You feel certain. You feel grounded. Um, now with love yourself first, you got the devil, <laughs> okay? So the devil is represented by Capricorns. Um, so it could be just you loving yourself. But at the same time, I feel like you guys are kind of tapping into your shadow self, okay? Because again, I feel like you guys are not playing. No games. Like, you're not like... Okay, some of you guys are really not playing no games. And this person probably never saw a side like this to you. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Like, basically, you're being karma for them. Now, with playfulness, I have the four of cups. So, for a very few Capricorns, I want to say Cancer. So, some of you guys are dealing with Cancers. But for a very few Capricorns, this does represent Cancer, so it could be. Um, I'm getting that you guys are in the dating scene. You're probably dating a couple people or just one person. However, you don't want a relationship just yet. Okay? It could be that way. Now, with the Oracle spread, I got the power of my voice, soul journey, and anger as my sacred ally. So, yeah, I feel like this is kind of like, not passive aggressive, but I feel like this is like trying to make this person understand that you don't play no games. So it may seem passive aggressive, it may seem aggressive. However, I feel like you are using this to your advantage, okay? And with the power of my voice, again, you guys are gonna really communicate with this person that you know it's over and it's done. And with soul journey, because you want something that's gonna resonate with your soul, okay? So that's the reading that I got for you, Capricorns. And again, happy birthday and happy new years. And if you're watching this on Christmas Day. Merry Christmas to you guys. And if this video definitely resonates, you can book a personal ring with me at queenfintero at gmail.com. Bye, guys.